Doesn't it sound nice to grab a book, the weather's nice, go sit in the shade. Oh, sounds delightful, right? Well, Melissa Dalton Martinez is here with the book break and she has some great suggestions for summer reading. Hi, Miss Melissa. Hello, you're right. I do have some really good ones this time. Yeah, well, you always have good recommendations and I like that you, you know, you kind of give something for a lot of different people that they might actually like. So the first one we're going to start with, we're going to transport back in time to early 1900s in Florida. Yeah, definitely. So this one is a historical romance that takes place, like you said, in Florida in 1906 and something that makes this one unique is one it's based on a true story so it's called the weight of salt by Sandra Montanino and it's actually her grandmother's story so Angelina Perillo is the name and she is the daughter of an immigrant family and her mom dies when she's a little bit young and she then ends up having to go to work and help out with the family but she's a very independent girl and she finds herself in the women's suffrage movement. And so if you're somebody that likes history, you wanna learn a bit more about that time frame about women's rights, you'll like this. Also, Angelina falls in love with somebody that her father does not approve of. He's very old school Italian, wants her to marry an Italian, and she wants to marry for love. So mm. she has to decide, am I gonna follow my father or am I gonna follow my heart? And I bet you there's people that can relate and go, oh, my parents were traditional about this and wanted me to, you know, I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate in a different sense. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think another thing that's really cool about this one is you get some background on um, Italian history, Spaniard history, and Cuban very history, cool. so it's great. Okay, very cool. Well, let's keep with that theme and let's talk about another historical fiction. Yeah, this next one is moving us along into the 1940s and so this one right here that's um, by Cameron Wright is telling us a little bit more about during World War II in times of rain and war and this follows an American soldier before the Americans joined the war he went to London to help out with defusing bombs and while he's there he meets a woman who happens to be in hiding but he doesn't know that at the time she's a German Jew and he has to decide what is he going to do? Is he going to say anything about this? And we also get some insight about what was going on in London during World War II in 1940. So it's wow. a great historical fiction novel by Cameron Wright. Yeah, I, I think there's something so fun about reading books like that and just you completely forget where you are in the moment and you transport back to that time period, which is so fun. Yeah, definitely. And this one is very um, descriptive. So you're okay. really going to love this if you're a historical fiction fan. Good. Okay, book number three, we're talking about, uh, you know, this is a collection of poems and essays. Yeah, this one is by Julianne Donaldson, Come Sweet Day. And this is great if you just have a short period of time and you're having a hard day. So Julianne, she has gone through some really difficult things. She's had cancer, she's gone through divorce, and this is a collection of essays and poems. So whether you're going through something difficult that's large or small, and you want to get a bit of inspiration, this book is gonna help you do that. So you can sit down and read it from cover to cover or take it in a 10 minute snippet and you're like really that. going to feel uplifted. I even like her cover, you know, it just yeah. seems bright and cheerful and just peaceful. Yeah, and there's beautiful images inside the book too. So it's a okay. great pick me up book. Well, and I think a lot of us after this last year probably could use a book like that where we just, you know, we just need a little pick me up for that moment. Or like you said, cover to cover or just go back to your favorites. That's kind of a nice way to do it. Yeah, definitely. You're you're, all of three of these books are really going to warm your heart. Okay. Well, if they want to win the books, you're going to give some away. Yes, I am. So you can go to my website, thebookbreak.com, and enter to win any one of these three books for free. And we're going to be drawing the winners tomorrow, so you're going to want to make sure to hurry up, get to thebookbreak.com, and enter to win. Fantastic, Melissa. Always fun having you in studio. And hey, cheers to summer, right? Warm yes, weather. definitely. Love I'm it. excited. Thanks, Melissa.